everyone hello 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 come on in come on in come with your flag yeah, ready hold on hold on go ahead go ahead while i do this i want to say wagwa jamaica jamaica i want to say happy independence here to the real jamaica them real yeah they them so if you're not ready put up your flag in the comment section if you're ready so we want to say happy independence here for the one that might be a join the life at you Nin, when you hit the comment at the join the life like share share the life now share it share it share it share it yeah guys come on in come on in tell your friend tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend we are live we don't come so we don't come here so often but we're here for a reason today for more reasons than one too right yeah man all the yard of them just running 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 with a flag with a dutch pad cover everything yeah, we're man. ready we're ready to celebrate and we have an independence opportunity for all of you who are ready yeah, man. i'm just trying to pin this um comment trying to pin the comment so that you know what uh, going on over here so yeah wait 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 if you want to join the live comment down tell us how is your independence here going on in people 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 jamaican so we are represent are we gone <laughs> no. listen it's gone from me me no lie no sir mm -mm. yeah i'm gonna get it back boy anyway <laughs> me a real yardy wanna be yardy around this so yeah anyways guys it's your queen cleopatra prince daniel prince malachi the LUI family, ladies uplifting and inspiring. Uh huh. I know that you don't normally see us on live over here, but yeah, we have one of our things to talk about today in yeah, a short wait, space wait, wait, of time. Wanna see the post on Facebook? If you wanna, if you wanna never see the post, go into your, go into your Facebook. So yeah, put it there right here, up on Instagram. So we even not send them to Facebook. Find no, it right no, here, no, so no, 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 get it no, right no, here, no, no, up on Instagram. Wait, so you put the link. Yeah, the post up on Instagram too. Alright, so Zimmy, just click on the link there. Like it. People, wanna tell me how I'm sound. I'm sound like a real Jamaican. Before we get in it, let me let me, let me hear what I say. I'm sound like Jamaican, I'm sound like Yadi. Anyways, guys, first and foremost, for all of you who are independent and truly are independent, happy Independence Day to you. It's Independence Weekend in Jamaica, somewhere in the world, you know, Jamaica map. Yeah, we're up on the map, big, 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 right about now because we create history in Tokyo despite the pandemic, right? The girls them go on away. Tell the truth. Under the Sicilian grandmother, a chair her on. Anybody saw that video? Wait, wait, wait. I want to say thank you to UCM Boat, Shelly and Fraser. UCM Boat never run. Me know. Okay. But before track field runner, he's still a track field. Danny McFarlane, uh, Victoria Campbell, Aileen Bailey. Victoria Campbell? No, she's not Victoria Campbell. Wait, so how do you say her name? <laughs> uh, Veronica. Veronica Campbell. Why is that Victoria? <laughs> well, she's Victoria. So, okay, go on here, son. He meant Veronica Campbell. Go ahead, son. Take it, take I it. I saw for Powell and every single track field runner, Aileen Thompson, every single big up on herself. Win in Tokyo, and we are gonna get the trophy. Yeah, but you're seeing a safa never there. Um, them not run. Mommy, them, eh? You know, I mean, I'm not talking about now. They've been a track field. Okay, so you're saying that all the athletes who represent Jamaica, yes. right? Jamaica strong, go hard and yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. 
Okay, so yeah, you heard it from Prince Daniel. My big up all the Jamaican athletes, past and present. You know, Shelly and Fraser, big up yourself, ladies uplifting and inspiring. Say, you know, one go hard and done. Rock it, mommy. Rock it, pocket. Straight up, yeah. Alien, but you know, I just want to say, it's so look how beautiful, how beautiful it is for no said these two ladies they have their family and they were out for a while and them come back so strong stronger than even before anybody would agree stronger than before yeah the girl the woman them go on with themselves at tokyo yeah tokyo no good again stamp them them foot over there all about over there yeah you know i'm just so happy i'm so happy excited you know, in an exuberant mood. Yeah, man, me proud for be a yardy, Jamaican, yeah, anywhere in the world. I go, you know. We have to say, big up the yardy, big up Jamaica, straight up, no matter what, you know. Because Jamaican people, just let me tell you this, you see, a lot of people keep talking about Jamaica is a third world country, but if it was really a third world country as in what they're saying it to be in, um, as it relates to poverty then guess what a lot of businessmen and women would not be investing in jamaica they would not have any interest in jamaica so stop said jamaica is a third world country i love my country bad and let me tell you something the first time i came in this country united states where i was at i appreciate it made me it made me appreciate jamaica so much reason being at the time i was an employee or a former employee of National Commercial Bank right and I had the opportunity to work in the financial aid department at the school I attended at that time and so it the principles that I learned from banking as it relates to fraud and risk management it was amazing or it was most bizarre to see how they operated their financial aid office I'm not banging anyone but i'm just saying the moral of the story is that big of jamaica big of jamaica and the work ethics and everything that we do with little but with talawa stop saying that we're a third world country and i'm saying that to say this that when i came here on my first job which was in a financial aid department and carrying forward my knowledge from banking having worked in the bank for five years and plus right and to see how they operated even with their filing system you know the fact that they would award letters for grants to students and they just dealt with it in a casual manner and i'm not speaking about the manager per se but the employees like myself at the time and i don't care how young they were when i brought it to their attention it's like they just shrugged the shoulder like hmm and i had to say no 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 no. we may not be up operating as a bank where we're handling money but what if an auditor should come inside here and do an audit just at any given moment you all would be in trouble but anyway now that my comfort talk about today but just want to say jamaicans big up on yourself especially on this independence weekend no matter what we know said the country is still governed by England no matter what but me no say me independent car England no govern me you understand it's God Almighty govern me right my creator my father who created heaven and earth he's the one who governs me but respect to Jamaica my home country they were born and grow right I'm a son of one like say at the same born but he didn't even know where Jamaica was when he was being born yeah I go like him like yaddy <laughs> but yeah so big up all the Olympians straight up past and present like my son named a few Vernica Campbell you see in both a Safa but you know the one Shelly and Fraser that girl that girl Shelly Ann she one like she can run but yeah she proved it you understand Elaine big up yourself from down our banana ground straight up I love banana you know yeah <laughs> especially bumpy banana but yeah man the woman them go on with themselves the men too a lot of personal best times a lot of records all of that you know um we may not 
have been the team that walked away with the most medals but may I tell you we go on with yourself we go hard and done that's what we went there for and we do it yeah yeah man so that's one of the things them that I really wanted to highlight right here on ladies uplifting and inspiring yeah I know I'm not hear my mouth over here so upon the live and as of lately haven't really seen any lives either but we are going with ourselves we are building up ourselves we are empowering ourselves so that we can be more of an advocate for others and empowering others in the true sense and allowing others to become champions just like I a conqueror Cleopatra coward by name but not nature you understand what I'm saying yeah and the next thing I want to talk about bigger mr. Danny McFarlane former Olympian you don't know he represented Jamaica very well in the 400 meter hurdles yeah maximum respect can't forget the first time I met him in 2004 while I was also working at National Commercial Bank in Jamaica West Indies yeah so mr. McFarlane respect to you sir OD yeah man and just to let you all know that mr. McFarlane it's no stranger to ladies uplifting and inspiring yeah you want to know stranger to us he's our first very first major major big things go on yeah he's one of our first major sponsors to the program wherein I will forever say it and you'll hear me say it over and over and over and over and over again he donated tablets to students on the 1st of January this year and big up also immigration attorney Diani winter fun day big up yourself big up your nice clean self anyway you're there what good I hope you <laughs> because the project wouldn't have been completed without her assistant without without her aid you understand when I called on her she did not she did not hesitate she was on board and she was the one who delivered the tablets and handed them over to the recipients and for that miss Diani, you are most appreciated yeah man always will remember you for that great deed you understand and yeah all the people who have been supporting ladies uplifting and inspiring all the special guests that we have had we have spoken to we have featured on the program from the start of june in 2020 to present i mean there is a what you call it now there is a moment of silence for now and we're trying to get things in order bigger better so that when we come back when i say hold on a lady is uplifting and inspiring that no man them are going with themselves yeah so you know you know you, you, there's always room for improvement there's always room for improvement so that's what we're doing so if you see we and you know here we kind of you know you don't know what may i say Wait, we're no still say. working no, behind no the say. scenes no i say who is there jamaica after me don't bring me jamaican suit hold up <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah, man. So we're doing things behind the scenes, regardless. You might not be seeing us much, or hearing of us, or hearing from us, like how you used to. But I'm gonna try my best to at least interact with you if I have once a week, same way. And don't forget that we are ignoring. We're not in ignoring our Instagram conquerors, but most of the happenings it do it 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 it, it do take place on the Facebook and YouTube platforms. So what I would want you to do, if you've not yet done so, please go to our YouTube channel. If you type in ladies with a colon and then uplifting and inspiring and we use the symbol for and, you will find us on YouTube. You will see the logo right in a blue background. Please hit that subscribe bell or button rather ring, and ring that bell. Ring the post notification Ring. bell for all exclusives so that you are not out of the loop you're always in the loop and know what's going on what we're doing you understand and also like comment we would like to hear your feedback because Interact. yeah. interaction doesn't take place one way it happens it flows both ways right so you talk to me me talk to you you 
talk back to me because what we say your concerns concern us and together and to we conquer together. yeah man we your conquer. concerns concern us together we conquer you understand if you don't want to be in a something like that then too bad why me me love win me love conquer me love the pun top straight up straight up yeah no pun you understand intended but yeah me love the pun top straight up and I like to be a part of the winning team. I'm in it to win it. And no matter what, because yeah, in life, remember that when you just start out, a lot of people may not put their trust and belief in you like all them do to Master God. But at the end of the day, nevertheless, be resilient, be determined, continue pushing. No matter what the pressure or the force coming, push back and make them know, say, yo, you can't get me out because just say them can't get out Shelly and Fraser and Elaine Thompson. I was your name. I forgot the last name, but forgive me. You understand? I saw them can't get me out. And anything I do, whatever I start, I will finish. I must finish. Right? So I'm here for you guys being an advocate, empowering you with whatever knowledge, whatever resources, whatever kind I can do. Right? And helping to hone you to become the true champion that you are, the best version of yourself. That's what I do. Yes, the Queen Cleopatra. This is her. Moi, Jamaican. Yeah. Living in foreign. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. All right. So, the next thing we want to have. So, we'll big up the athletes, them. Mm -hmm. Olympics are going straight up. We'll big up Danny McFarlane, former Olympian, as well as sponsor to Ladies Uplifting and Inspiring's platform. Big up TVJ, too. Yeah. Who featured me in April of this year, 2021. That was like, wow. A dream came through for me. Yeah, it's so funny that yeah, may I call TVJ name Never Bell, Simone yeah, Neville, Clark, yes, yeah, Simone. Dahlia Harris, yeah, yeah I get a little what? feature upon our page as well, Thanksgiving Thursday, and then I was featured on television Jamaica on Smile, Smile Jamaica, Jamaica. On, in April. And it's so ironic that two of my daughters, I have three daughters, Talisa Thomas was featured on TVJ as well in schools challenge quiz and also Paula Ann Cummings was featured and she also has her certificate for participating in the 2011 I saw school challenge quiz I don't remember the year Talisa was on it but yeah the mother finally made it there too you understand and that is to say that never give up on your dreams and aspirations but don't forget that you can't just sit and dream you have to do the do you have to do the do yes. you have to do all the these them yeah do the do dream and do that's how you're gonna be that's how you're gonna reach your destiny you understand what i'm saying right hold on no i'm gonna turn down because i don't want no copyright and i'm something but yeah guys i come natural today yeah you wanna see me real jamaican real independent woman real liberated queen you understand accept me for who i am no pretense over here i am who i am and no one can erase that no matter what and when right say jamaican jamaican is the best the best country anywhere ever. we go people love us them hate us for them love us they want to yeah. be like us yeah jamaica when i say jamaica is the best jamaica but yes yeah. Yeah, so the next thing what i really want to talk about the meat of the matter now is the scholarship that we have available for this school year the application opens today um april 7 i think it was a uh, the right moment since it's independence weekend in jamaica and it's geared Only towards august. our jamaican students august or what i say you said april why am i still say april look here <laughs> may not have dementia <laughs> but anyways guys you got it so I said today so you know what we are talking about so the application for the scholarship opens today August 7 and it will close at 11 59 p.m. August 28 and like I said the scholarship is geared toward an exemplary selfless Jamaican student who is doing really well and who needs the assistance to the end you know to continue their education and what you will need to do there is a link in the bio look up and you'll see that link starting with BIT when you click on that link it will take you to the YouTube page the video is less than five minutes so you can't tell me say you don't have five minutes of your time for spare watch the video you will get more insights as well as you will need to look into the description on the YouTube 
video to find the link for the application for the ladies uplifting and inspiring 2021 to 2022 scholarship now we don't only have one sponsor we have another sponsor who reached out to me and we will not announce this sponsor until the day of the handing over of the scholarship to that blessed student or child and it's a blessing to know that people are looking on like i said you may not hear much about ladies uplifting and inspiring but we are doing what we are doing and we're still assisting in whatever way we can whatever little way we can because where there's little there's much when the good lord almighty is in it and that's who whose foundation i stand on right i am blessed and i want to bless others even if men are wealthy 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 yet because listen my story is this when I used to go to school, I'm going to talk about primary school. Let me start from primary school. Um, those days, when you have one pair of shoes, that one pair of shoes serve you for school, church. Well, we never used to go nowhere else, so school and church, right? And sometimes the shoes break or it mush up in Jamaican terms and you have to barefoot it, you know? Um, me would I call it two things is either my ten commandments them or my bmw so you know what bmw me me not talk this one with the steering me i talk about the one for my two foot which is better me walk and i remember the days when going to primary school there were days when i barefooted when i footed from the tar and i fear i hide from the tar because the sun i pelt the tar and the tar i pelt my foot bottom with the heat oh, sit down there you see it sit in your seat listen I'll, I'll let you watch it when you're done please go and sit in your seat Thank you. Yes, I have to make sure that the boys are secure. All right, so, yeah, man, me I go down in it, and yeah, it's not because I want to take off my shoes sometime, but because I never have no shoes. And I did not allow that to deter me from not going to school, right? And I still excelled in school because I didn't spend much time in grade two after transferring to grade one at the Balaclava Primary School. And just to let you know that I did attend the Balaclava Primary School. And I went to grade two, didn't spend much time there. I went to grade three, skipped grade four, went to grade five. When I went to grade six, there were students there who were repeating. And when I sat my common entrance for the first time, one shot, and I was victorious i passed my common entrance you know them times that we also do like mental ability which them cut out now and i think that is most important mental ability you know these children don't know how to use their brains now because the computers the gadgets are doing it for them nowadays you ask them three plus three them draw for the phone nobody don't know how to add three plus three in their heads anymore but yeah so we moved from primary school now and I went to high school. At first my mother never wanted me to go to the Carter College that I passed for she didn't want me to send me to Mogati and I said no 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 no. So just to let you know from a little bit them semi rebellious but on a rebellious sometimes you have to be very defiant and you have to be very firm in what you believe even if it means that you have to stand up to your parents respectfully and say no. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I did that and I said, no, mommy, may I go to the Carter College at this summer pastor because at the time, Mogati was considered a secondary school. And you know the phobia or stereotyping, they just turn into high school and you'd be like, oh, no, I don't want to go to secondary school. Like, oh, duh. Every high school is somewhat considered a secondary, um, secondary education, right? But you know, sometimes you're kind of not figuring it out or thinking it out. But anyways, I wanted to go to the Carter College because I said that's where I worked for hard and I passed my common entrance. So when I went to the Carter College, my first year, first form in school, and yeah, me I got to tell you now which year. Anybody know when Gilbert hit Jamaica? Me not even I got to say the year, just do the maths. The year that Gilbert hit Jamaica was the year I was in first form at the Carter College. And I remember my mother buy the first suit of uniform for me, which was them long skirt, and she buy the longest skirt and them time she never really have no open money so the blows the white blows them that i used to wear at primary school they had to suffice for first form so you know after a while girls start grow like a titty titty start bus out i didn't even have trainee brazier the boy them used to tease me i used to fight them but anyway that's not what me talk about today not talk about the fight yeah mommy used to fight the boy them because i never have no trainee brazier 
I'm mean, looking to titty them just pint out and say, see me here, you know the blows, because the blows them tight, you know the dark run gets so thin, you could have seen the threads them in the dark run. But anyways, first form, my pair of shoes, it was a brown pair of shoes, like weave, I can't forget, I'm a white socks, a punky Brewster socks them. Anybody remember the punky Brewster socks them? Punky yeah, man, <laughs> the puffy top man, them know me at all about. But anyways, my mother pay like half of the school fee, a portion of the school fee for me, whatever she could pay for first form. And let me tell you guys, after that, no parents don't know how my school fee pay for. I thank my mother, but regardless, I'm just trying to say that irrespective of the fact that my parents did not know how the other years of my school fee was paid for, thank God to Mrs. Sonia Allen. Mrs. Sonia Allen, wherever she's at, her ear is supposed to ring because Cleopatra called up her name. Mrs. Sonia Allen, anybody who knew her, she was a guidance counselor at the Carter College back in them time that during Gilbert, as I said, and onwards. And she used to teach us family life. And a the woman, they also helped hone me into the person that I am today, including my personality, because we have innate personality and there are times when we adapt to our environment, right? And that lady teach me some enough to make nobody push nothing down my throat. No tablet down my throat if me don't want to swallow it. You understand? So, I'm just sharing my days of going to school without school fee, without uniform. Me used to save the little lunch money when my mother gave me. Or, as a matter of fact, my mother don't know how most of my years go. Or my father don't know how most of my years go during um hold on where we are going now you know say wrong where we are going yeah, ah oh, jesus anyways guys show me a talk to me i got the wrong way but anyways me, me can yeah figure it out yeah and i did not stop from school I could have be some little girl when me find money yard and so but i did not i chose to go to school you know how much morning I go to the crossroad at Oxford Crossroad near Roses Valley in St. Elizabeth, Borderland, Manchester. And go boom ride. All Jamaican people know what I mean by boom ride. I not talk about boom for blast up nobody. So Instagram, on a door, misconstrue what I'm saying. Okay? Me I talk about boom ride. Fandong vehicle, you don't know the people them. And you take risk. Yes, many mornings I had to do that to reach the school. When I was in third farm miss headley me now go forget her spanish teacher miss headley she shame me she embarrassed me and tell the whole class embarrass me in front of the class and say how oh, comes me can do me ear but me can't find book for come at school with and me not talk composition book or exercise book <laughs> me talk about textbook for the subjects them we are do because the way me did bright them fling me in a science science the, the science, what I call it, the science group, because you had what business, art, science, and something else. So the way I made it bright, I mean, mom say top five every year in my class overall, top three, top five, the most top ten. When I time it, it kind of slip past five, but I was still up in the top ten. But for the most years throughout high school, top three, top five, maths, nobody couldn't take that from me, not even Sophia Richie. But anyways. Um, what me did I say again? Come here, try to figure out my way. Hold on. And I'm glad that we're doing this scholarship because lots of yeah, the scholarship. What me I do? Me just share my story and the reason why it is on my heart to be an advocate and to give back to students in the form of a scholarship. I mean, we're doing other stuff where we still have students. Like for example, May, we selected a student for the month of child child month where we gave up money and also free internet for one month free internet in the sense that we paid for the internet or i paid for the internet or a sponsor let me just say that was from a sponsor another sponsor we need to bigger up miss suzette brown she was a sponsor of that month's internet for that um recipient in um in may for child's month right so big up yourself miss suzette brown one of our sponsors as well i didn't even mention her and that's so bad my apologies miss brown but yeah, back to my story now. While we're talking about the scholarship application, is that when I was in high school, Miss Headley, she shamed me in front of the class and said, Oh, me can do me here, can I'm turning my ear cream? But she never know, say, and I hear just a me go. You know, in the community, my mother did have one friend, and we used to save our lunch money or any little money we get, me used to play poker. 
a long time I learned for gamble but I'm not gambling anymore like that but a long time I know investment yeah like for finances for budget and for make more per year money yeah long time I've been thinking how to do that and I've been doing that from a child so I used to also have a friend big up yourself April Beverly Johnson from Dona Oxford crampy daughter dead and gone crampy but rest in peace crampy but Beverly yeah man she was my best childhood friend and she was the one who when our dad used to give her $100 for her lunch money for the week she would share it and give me $50 half she would go half and half with me how many friends do you have would even do that for you today yes baby I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry okay but anyways yes I was waiting for the please guys because he knows it he knows but anyways we don't have any supper joint we didn't bring any Wait a moment, may have some now hold on Daniel let me I should run go up a Marsland shop at the poker box and and um play poker and win more on my money I knew when to walk away so whatever interest I got I knew when to walk away and that was how I would go to school sometimes when the money they done my boom ride now when I reach the school sometimes I don't have lunch to eat I don't have lunch money so one day I couldn't take it anymore because I did craving I did well wanga got on craving one plate of food couldn't hold me because you know yeah I did really craving I don't know if I crave I did craving or I never did I get enough for I don't know I don't know but yeah I okay, went to Mrs. Allen I went to Mrs. Allen where? Over there, school yeah. I went to Mrs. Sonia Allen while she was at the Cadre College and I cried tears and they were not fake tears, they were genuine tears. And I said, Mrs. Allen, you know, say this I go on in my life and me really would I want to finish school. My desire is to come to school, get an education, and so that I can be the first one who go through school in my family and you know, at least finish high school and all of that. Because my mother never finished high school, my grandmother never finished high school, right? And I'm the first one to go through high school in my family, yeah? And when I got to Mrs. Allen, she never turned me away. She listened to my story, yeah? My Astrid and Kofat story, and she decided to help me. So she would have provided lunch for me at school, and the school fee was taken care of. So the only thing I had to do was to find myself to school, so find my own uniform and books. So guess what? I don't have no books coming and parents to give me the money for, no, for buying a book so I went through high school for the entire let me say at least four years at least four full years without textbooks and I don't want nobody to jump up on my life come say a lie me I tell me I talk about like family members because my high school classmates would tell anybody behind me and front of me say what I talk say are the truth and nothing but the truth because them know my story more than all my family know my story yeah so I'm just saying that and that's the reason why I've always had it on my heart and with the push from the Lord Jesus Christ I have decided to give back and the pandemic really really hastened that vision I think because while I was in nursing school in the midst of my last year studying in the wee hours of the morning God said to me said the time was now and I just push out in faith I didn't have nothing uh, you know the first give back we gave back was last fall um, we gave a student money to assist with school fee to go back to school and that was from myself and the other ladies who were with us then right that was from our pockets and then Mr. McFarlane came on board officially and then we had Miss Suzette Brown and now we have another sponsor who we will reveal that on the day when we are handing over the scholarships for this year 2021 okay so guys long and short of the story is that we're doing what we're doing the little that we're doing is still much for somebody and I know somebody out there need the help these are some hard times that we're living in economic hardship is at its peak right now across the world much like Jamaica where there's not a lot a lot of resources that they can turn to right lucky for us here in America we have resources that we can turn to thank God for that you know I have to be grateful and so I with the assistance from other Jamaicans were giving back all right so that's all I have to say today 
So big up on yourself. Enjoy on a weekend. Be safe. Be wise in everything that we do. Be careful, right? And just stay tuned. If you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel or like our Instagram page, Ladies Uplifting and Inspiring, please don't hesitate. I just one nanosecond it takes to click that red subscribe button on YouTube. We're trying to build our number. Yeah, we're trying to build it up so people can know about us worldwide. Yeah, let us go worldwide with your help. Right? Each one, reach one, teach one, help the other. Yeah? Mommy. Yeah? You want oh we got Bigfoot guys. Jamaican colours. Yeah, we do have Bigfoot. Uh -oh. Yeah, we have Bigfoot. Straight Yardy. We are so Jamaican on this yeah, independent bye. weekend. Straight Yardy. Bigfoot. Big up yourself. Alright? Yeah. Here. So, yeah guys, so you know, just big up on yourself, all the Olympians. You did us great at Tokyo. Tokyo Olympics 2021. And ladies uplifting and inspiring. We are doing to you know 2021. Listen, we have some great things. Hey, God have some things in store for we say just wait till him dash it out pan with full fledge. At them time the people are gonna run, come and I can't talk about but me tell us something. Just know that if nobody not believe in a lady's uplifting and inspiring, I moi right so she her me more than believe in ladies uplifting and inspiring and we're going places with the grace of God Almighty. So guys, big up on yourself. Thank you for staying tuned with me today. You could have been elsewhere. But you tuned in, you listened, and don't forget to go and apply for the scholarship. It op it it has opened today, and it ends on 11:59 p.m. August 28, 2021. That's when it closes. All right. Go ahead, Daniel. So what, do you have to say? what I had to say is, I'm glad that we're giving out the scholarship because someone who's good in math, they can probably be the best math person in Jamaica. Or if someone's good in science, they can be the best. The top student, yeah, right? Top the most students. outstanding student, right? Yeah. But Mickey and we are me touch Jamaica so we can get some of that curry chicken and rice and peas. Great. Well, guys, with that being said, we are out. Peace out. We will see you later on. All right? Peace. Yaddy. Go hard and done.